Hello, Joe. Hey, Larry. How have you been since, uh, you know. Since you totaled my Corvette? I didn't total it. Just a few minor and major scratches and dents. Well, I was doing better until you killed my hydrangeas. Uh, what? Remember when I was going out of town a couple of weeks ago and you agreed to look after my flowers? Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. <sighs> Millennials. All right, well, other than your hydrangeas, how have you been? You know, we've been neighbors for years, but I, I feel like we've never really gotten to know each other. I actually just started an investment firm. It's really interesting. We track what the big guys are doing and yeah, then- Yeah, I don't need a whole rundown. Just, uh, well, I'm glad you're doing well. Thanks. Hey, by the way, you ever uh, think about putting a muzzle on your dog? Huh? Well, I hear your dog barking every night and I just wondered if you ever considered a muzzle. Are you crazy? Lucky's a rescue. He's too traumatized to wear a muzzle. Listen, Larry, I'm just looking out for you, really. You know, your dog keeps barking every night. I'm just worried someone's gonna take it into their own hands to put an end to that nuisance. Is that a threat? No, of course not. I'm no dog killer. But you never know which one of your neighbors is. <sighs> Hold on, what's going on here? Could I put I'm six foot one even though I haven't been for several decades? Or could I get in trouble for that? No, I heard that, but I'm still gonna need a little bit more of an explanation. Alex, we're doing online dating and we need your help to set up our profiles. The divorce papers just went through and you two are already dating? Sure are, even vintage cars go out of style at some point. And there goes my love for vintage cars. So are you going to help us or not? I guess. Where are you in the process? I don't know. My screen is black. Does that help? <sighs> Maureen, what are we even doing here? This whole online dating thing doesn't really feel like us. You realize if we do a good job here and I get a date, I'm not your problem anymore. Let's get to work. All right, I'm gonna call it a day. You mind leaving me your pen? My pen? Yeah, I have to stay late to fill out some forms and I don't have a pen. Can't you just borrow a pen from the office? There's tons around here. Yeah, I'm not gonna walk all the way to the supply closet when there's a perfectly good pen right there. I guess. Thank you. All right, well, I want that pen back though. That's one of those good ones. You'll get it back. It's the, uh... It's the ballpoint one, They're actually kind of expensive. Relax, I said you'll get it back. Okay. You know, because people always say they'll give you your pen back, but they never do. You have my word. Listen, I don't even think they make them anymore, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Something wrong? No, well, it's, it's just, you must be pretty passionate about whatever you're writing. It, you use a lot of force. I'm just worried the pen's gonna bend. Get out. Right. Sophia, I'm glad you agreed to me. I need to talk to you about something kind of serious. Sure. So my girlfriend Nicole was going through Instagram and found something frankly very disturbing. What is it? You unfollowed her. I might have. So what? She's really upset. It might seem crazy, but 
she's convinced herself that you don't like her. That's ridiculous. I unfollowed her because I barely know her. And frankly, thank God. See, saying stuff like that is part of the problem. I honestly had no idea the indirect repercussions of unfollowing someone on Instagram. It's a big deal to some people. Either way, Nicole's understandably upset about the whole situation. She shouldn't feel targeted. I unfollow people all the time. Do me a favor. Just please try to be nicer to her. She's your boyfriend's best friend's girlfriend. That used to mean something. Okay, okay, you're right. I'll try to be nicer to her going forward. And I need you to do something else. What's that? I need you to re-follow her. Really? Come on, what do you care? A gesture like that could really help repair your relationship with her. Relationship? We've talked twice. Please, just re-follow her. I would, but my followers to following ratio is just the way I like it. Plus, you have to sign in, which is a hassle, and to be honest with you, I don't even think I remember my password. Judging by your lack of technical lingo, I'd guess it's password, or the S's are fives and the O's is zero. No comment. Ooh, that must be my blind date. Why are you knocking on the door? I'm here for a blind date. The dating website must have matched us together. Didn't the fact that it was my address kind of tip you off? I did think that was a little odd. Well, I guess I'll just go home. Well, I did get all dressed up for a date. Me too. Maybe we could use this as an opportunity to redo our first date. You know, try it again. We could leave the past in the past and start fresh. That sounds really nice. I'd like that. This was a disaster. Take me home. I thought you'd never ask. Hey, David, kind of random, but you never gave me my pen back. Your pen? Yeah, the ballpoint pen I lent you the other day. You mean the pen you lent me so I can stay here hours after work filling out forms? Unpaid, might I add? Yep, that's the one. I don't know. I guess I lost it. You lost it? What do you mean you lost it? I don't know where it is. Therefore, I lost it. You know, this is why you can't lend people pens anymore. You know what? I cleaned up my desk yesterday. I may have accidentally thrown your pen out. So for all we know, my pen could be in the dumpster by now. We gave it one last try between us. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. It's the last of it. Well, drive safe. Well, it's been real. It's been real? 50 years together and that's the best I get? Yep. Not this again. Sophia. Alex, what's up? After we talked and you refollowed Nicole, I thought everything calmed down between you two. It has. I thought we settled this. Well then, I find out you unfollowed my girlfriend on Snapchat. This again? It's not a big deal. 
Nicole has explained to me that removing a friend on Snapchat is in fact a thousand times worse than on Instagram unfollow. Look, Sophia, I can't fix your deeply rooted emotional issues, but I thought I'd at least ask you to be nicer to Nicole. I didn't mean it as an insult. I guess I was just tired of her posting a thousand pre-makeup selfies every morning. Regardless, Nicole is really upset, and now she's saying she doesn't want me hanging out with Joe anymore. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to tell you. I guess I can add her back as a friend? I think it's too late for that. Sophia, you need to fix this. I don't want this feud between you two destroying my friendship with Joe. <sighs> what did you have in mind? Do me a favor. Agree to go bowling with me and Nicole. You two haven't really gotten to know each other, and I think that's part of the problem. I don't know. Come on, Sophia. You can bring Joe, and we'll call it a double date. Listen, I think it's time for you and Nicole to grow up and learn how to get along. <sighs> Fine. Great. Let's say the night around eight. I'll see you then. <sighs> I've got to get off of social media. Hello, Bob. Oh, I thought you were someone else. Sure, I'll give you my social security number. You sound trustworthy. Great call on a double date at the bowling alley, man. Yeah, isn't this great? You know the object was to knock those pins over, right? Thanks, that's helpful. By the way, I love your makeup. I bet it was super cheap. Well, I love your outfit. I guess it didn't come in your size though. Forget about my clothes. I love your shirt. I remember when all of the girls in fifth grade were into that style. This seems to be going really well. Yeah, it seems like they're really starting to get along. So, did everyone have fun tonight? I gotta ask, who gets upset over an Instagram unfollow? The better question is, is what kind of sick, twisted person unfollows a so-called friend off Instagram? Like I needed to see your face soon bikini photos all year round. Right, because your five paragraph just doing some thinking posts are exactly the spice my feed needed. I'm uh, starting to think they're not actually getting along that well. Listen up, one of our biggest investors is coming by the office in a few minutes to check on things around here. You know, make sure we're using his money efficiently. I've played like four hours of Angry Birds today. Okay, but we're not gonna tell him that now, are we? Hello everyone. Larry, good to see you. Joe, David, you remember Larry. No reintroduction needed. I certainly know who Joe is. Yeah, we're neighbors, so we see each other from time to time. You totaled my Corvette. You destroyed my hydrangea garden, and then you threatened to kill my poor little rescue dog, Lucky. What kind of person are you? What? All right, well, first of all, the garden thing was a total misunderstanding. I mean, I wrote down I was supposed to water them on a piece of paper, but I lost the piece of paper. Well, what about his Corvette? All right, well, David was with me. And you were driving. Yeah, that's a, uh, yeah, that's a pretty good argument. Well, what about you threatening to kill his dog? I might have done that. Joe! I'm so sorry about him. I hope you know we're running an upstanding business here. Do you think that we could just put all this behind us and get started with our meeting? <sighs> I can be the bigger person. Let's do it. Great. Now, Larry, I wanna thank you for taking the time today. What we're looking for is an additional investment to tackle a few issues that have come up recently. Sorry, hang on a second. David, is that my pen? What? No. Yeah, it is. That's my pen. You know, the one that was supposedly missing. Can we talk about this later? We're in the middle of a meeting here. No, we can't. That's my pen and I want it back. Well, that's not happening.
Oh wait. Yeah, this this is a different pen. This might be a bad time, but I found this pen on the way in. Does this pen belong to anyone? I just can't stand it. Being apart has made me realize something. I need you. Me too. Let's meet at our spot at the beach in an hour. Let's talk it all out. I'll see you then. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. 